today. Intel's ARC A770 costs more than you think. Intel's having serious security issues. NVIDIA's RTX 4070 is spotted. And here are AMD's next-gen RX 7000 GPUs. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, while well, Intel's A770 is looking like a decent card for mid-range buyers that's only given US MSRP. Unfortunately, Intel hasn't announced the MSRP for European markets, and we now may see why as the card has been listed on German retailers, and when we look at a price comparison done by a user on Twitter, we can see that the cheapest model is a whopping 430 euros. What's worse is that this is the limited edition model, similar to Nvidia's Founders Edition cards, so it should be right around the actual MSRP, meaning we could be looking at well over 400 euros while at MSRP. Now, the reason for this is almost certainly the value added tax that's applied to EU countries. As you can see, Germany 19% puts it right at that price. What's really bad for Intel here is that it puts it over the 3060's price point, likely because those cards are older and Nvidia can lower costs more. Either way, that's not good for Intel's initial launch, especially given just a little more and you can pick up a 3060 Ti. But first, a big thanks to Crucial for sponsoring this video. Now that GPUs have finally gone down, it's the perfect time to upgrade. But before you do, use the tool millions of gamers trust to make sure they get the right components every time. The Crucial System Scanner, a free tool that scans your computer hardware to give you compatible memory and storage parts in minutes. They've been around for years, and I really can't recommend them enough. I mean, get this, people have actually found out that their motherboard supports more memory than what even the manufacturer said, and it actually worked. In fact, Crucial guarantees that the memory or storage you buy will be compatible. And check out how easy it is to use, that's actually one of the reasons I love it. Look at all these recommendations. So before you upgrade, make sure you get the most out of your PC by visiting my link in the description. Plus you'll get 15% off all Crucial products when you use my code GAMERMELD15. Next up for today, Intel looks to have a big issue on their hands, as the company's Alder Lake source code was recently leaked to 4chan and GitHub. The story was originally broken by Tom's Hardware, where they explained that the file was 5.86 gigabytes after it was decompressed, and included BIOS information from Intel's Alder Lake architecture. At first, they didn't have confirmation that it was in fact real, but Intel has since confirmed with Tom's Hardware that it really is their proprietary UEFI code, and that's not good because it could ultimately make Alder Lake less secure. And one well-known security expert has allegedly already found model-specific registers, which could pose a serious security issue. Now, Intel claims that they don't believe this will expose any security vulnerabilities, but we shall see. One good thing is that the company is encouraging researchers to try and find vulnerabilities and to submit them to their bug bounty program. So if there is an issue, someone will likely find it soon, but hopefully Intel can fix it. Next up, with NVIDIA's RTX 4090 set for release in just a couple days, we still haven't heard much about their lowering cards. That is, until now. In a new video from Moore's Law is Dead, he shared a single image of what he claims is NVIDIA's RTX 4070. Unfortunately, it has been heavily edited because he mentions that posting the full card isn't safe. Either way, we can still get quite a bit out of this. For one, it has the new fan from the 4090 and 4080 that goes into the outer part of the shroud but unlike those, it looks to be a dual slot card, so it's obviously not as power hungry as the higher end models. With that said, it looks more like the 3080 than the 3070, so it likely is far more power hungry than last gen. One interesting part is that this is obviously a Founders Edition card, yet the 12 GB 4080 is only going to be released with AIB partners once again making it the odd card out. As far as the date, Moore's Law is Dead believes it's set to be released in Q1 or Q2 of next year, though he claims that they could sell it much sooner given the card is ready. Ultimately, if they do hold off, it's likely so they can continue selling last-gen GPUs. Either way, this looks to be it. And lastly for today, as AMD's RX 7000 release gets closer, we're finally getting some big leaks on their next-gen GPUs, as well as some unannounced RTX 4000 cards. And these look to be the real deal, as it comes from the PSU maker Intermax. When we go to their power supply calculator, we can see that the company lists four unreleased AMD GPUs. Their RX 7700 XT, 7800 XT, 7900 XT, and 7950 XT. And of course, this confirms that 
AMD's next-gen series is in fact the RX 7000 series. Not only that, but it means that AMD is likely set to announce the 7950 XT GPU right away. Why they would do that is tough to say, but maybe it will be the ultimate competitor to Nvidia's RTX 4090. That or AMD is hoping to flat beat them in raw performance. Either way, AMD is clearly going all out. But that's not all this reveals. Given this is a PSU calculator, when we use the 12900K to get the PSU recommendations, we can subtract the wattage that we know isn't the GPU to find out what the GPU is. Starting things off, according to this, the 7950 XT should come with a TDP of 420 watts. And given this is right, that's 30 watts lower than Nvidia's 4090. With that said, the 7900 XT is 330 watts, which is more than the 4080. What would be interesting is if the 7900 XT was actually made to challenge the 4090, yet had over 100 watts less. Maybe, but this could really be why the 7950 XT is here. Regardless, according to this, the 7800 XT would get 300 watts, and the 7700 XT would be at 200 watts. Now, as I mentioned before, they also have RTX 4000 cards that Nvidia hasn't announced, and those are the RTX 4070 and 4060. The 4070 comes in with a TDP of 285 watts, and the 4060 at 200 watts. And when we compare that to AMD's counterparts, the RX 7000 is significantly lower. Unless, of course, they're made to challenge the lower-end NVIDIA parts. I'm not sure, but this is definitely shaping up to be an interesting release. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you holding out for AMD's next-gen GPUs, or are you planning to just pick up one of NVIDIA's newest cards? Let me know down in the comments below, and make sure to check out the Crucial Scanner down in the description below. And as always, have a great day!